You know, let's just call it what it is. The senators who don't want to use this moment in history to enact gun regulations are gutless and heartless. Let's say that again. They're gutless and heartless. And so rather than send our prayers and use that, why don't we pray for them that they grow a spine and they use their heart? Why don't we say that we pray for them to grow a spine and use their heart? Grow a spine and use their heart. Because no parent or grandparent should send their kids to school and not have them come home safe. No teacher should be in a classroom and fear being shot. No custodian should be cleaning that classroom and wonder if they're going to come home to their loved ones. And that's where we are in this society right now. I had a protester at my house on Monday in a mask. And my daughter was crawling along the floor because she, she didn't want to be shot. She didn't know if that person had a gun or not. My daughter was crawling along our floor because she was afraid of what could happen because there was somebody standing on my front lawn for two hours with billboards protesting. So to those folks in Washington, grow a spine, use your heart. Grow a spine and use your heart. As my colleagues have said, the gun laws in California make a difference. We are safer here because of my colleagues behind us and my colleagues who have come before us to enact prudent gun laws. But we also have to be cognizant of who appoints judges because the bill that I authored to keep 18-year-olds from getting these high-powered centerfire rifles was just struck down by a right-wing conservative judge with a perspective. We passed the law and that judge undid what I wrote into that law. And that's wrong because we want our people to be safe. What happened in Michigan when a school district received information of a credible threat and then sat on that information and didn't make sure those kids and those teachers were safe, that's wrong. And so this year I have SB 906 that says school districts, when you realize there's a credible threat on your school, you must follow up, you must investigate, and you must do everything you can to keep those children safe. And so that's what we have to do. We have to look at our creative ways to continue to foster our gun control here to show the rest of the world that California gets it, that moms demand action, get it, and that their demands turn into good, solid gun restrictions in our golden state. And so I'm proud to stand with Moms Demand Action with all of you out here today to say again with a loud voice, grow a spine and use your heart. Do not wake up another day and see a dead child in a classroom or a dead teacher in the classroom because that is on your watch. Do it right. Frankly, think about your fellow man and put your prayers to actual action and make a difference. Thank you very much and God bless.